Good evening, junkies. Welcome to eManyJunkie.com, your ass trading mentor's free trading video for Tuesday, July 27th, 2010. Today we had a total of seven executable trade signals for a max potential of 12 ES ticks. This video is for educational purpose only, is intended to highlight our high probability trade setups, give you a feel for the quantity of trades taken each trading day using this approach. A full trading plan and daily live trading room can be accessed through our website at eManyJunkie.com. Okay, uh, in the pre-market session, we pushed up and put in a uh, Globex high around 11.18.75. We were uh, just a couple points away from an a ultimate target we were looking for off of uh, a move we've been in for uh, over a week now. And uh, we, we didn't quite make it to that target. That target is up there around uh, 11.21 or so. Hopefully, uh, maybe they'll get to that before the week's out. But uh, the market pulled off of that level, opened up around 16.75, and uh, you can see it uh, came down through our moving average, gave us an extension entry to the short side. That did produce targets one and targets two on that fast move there uh, for six ticks to the downside. Then we had uh, news coming out at 10. Um, we had a non-idealized entry, meaning uh, actually there wasn't an entry here. Uh, we were just below our gold line by a fraction of a, a point there and would not allow us to take this entry. There were some folks in our room that did obviously take this pullback and uh, we're able to get a, a, a nice trade off of the, the news announcement, but uh, waiting for our official entry, we came down, got a signal to get long, and then the market, as you know, turned over there, and uh, we got our first contract off, ended up getting stopped out of the remainder of our position for a two tick loss, and then we had this, this fast move to the downside, gave us an extension short opportunity, and then that did produce targets one and targets two to the downside, as we pushed down into uh, the previous day's high and then ultimately filled our 4 o'clock and 4.15 gap. It wasn't a real high probability gap set up today because we opened up above uh, R1, what we call resistance 1, uh, so we stay away from the gaps, but the gap, as you can see, did completely fill and uh, actually found a little bit of support on that first gap bounce, came up through our moving average, pulled back near that 4 o'clock um, close again, gave us a signal to get long, that produced targets one and targets two. Got filled right on uh, these last bit of candles here as we we're touching price just under that uh, half gap level. Market was rejected off that, continued moving to the downside, actually uh, gave us a signal to get short. Now, unfortunate here on this uh, 1045 entry, we had a nice setup, we had a nice signal to get short. We got our first contract off. The market came up just a couple of ticks too high ended up stopping us out of our position and then ultimately went on to what would have been a, a winning trade but we keep a tight stop and uh, that's just how it goes sometimes the market pushed on down through the uh, Globex low there and which was also the daily pivot found a little bit of sort in that, uh, support in that area and that actually was uh, the, the low of the morning there as the market started moving higher came across our moving average um, we did not get a, a valid entry due to timing, but there was an opportunity some folks to get in on this move and ride up through the lunch hour. We actually did not get our next set up until just before 2 o'clock. We had this little uh, move down and up. Again, there was a setup coming right out of the dead zone. About 105, a little early. We wait till 115 before we start participating. Uh, so we missed this opportunity to get short just by a few minutes came across got a signal to get long that did produce targets one and targets two to the upside for eight ticks and then the market crossed back through our moving average and right before the close uh, just about three minutes before the close we actually got a signal to get short unfortunately for us that ended up being a full stop out took away 14 ticks of profit we had going into the last three minutes of the day so we ended up with seven trades for 12 ES ticks I want to thank you for watching. For more details on this plan, including all the chart setups, or to join our live trading room and video newsletter, please visit eminijunkie.com or simply click the link at the top of the screen. Thanks, and make it a great day.